Hi, this is Stolt, welcome. And we're doing an update to the green, mono green, slime against humanity deck. Um, so we got some new technology that we've um, discovered and we're going to implement into this deck and just kind of change things up. So the original problem with the deck was the mana curve was really rough. You pretty much didn't do anything until turn three, you know, maybe. Maybe you did a mulch on turn two, but um, we found, you know, the rubber belt maverick a one mana one one and it's a rails two when it comes in and then it has some more value from the graveyard when it dies you can put a plus one plus one counter on a creature um so we got uh, that and then we got luxor giada's gift one mana uh, artifact equipment and a creature gets plus one plus one for each counter on it um so the slime or the ooze that's produced from the slime against humanity gets plus one plus one counters on it so basically this will double any slime that you attach it to um, for you you'll equip for three so you'll definitely have three mana and you know that's our those are our one drops and then we got some nice two drops um, so we got the scrap gorger one mana one green zero three and you can when you tap it you exile a card from a graveyard so with this card um, you know you can also tap it for mana which is helpful for ramp but the main part of this card is to defend against the black card um, the deadly cover-up so the deadly cover-up can devastate this deck right if you have a slime against humanity in the graveyard they can collect evidence and they can exile all slime against humanity cards from your graveyard hand and library so you can't just have one in your hand ready to go and you know they will get rid of them all and I don't know if there's any cards that you can play a card from exile you know in order to prevent that but you could prevent it with the scrap gorger um, so it's a little bit of protection there's another card hmm uh, what is that one huh it's uh green and black card should have put it in the thing hmm Let's just do it this way. This one. Oh, it is over here somewhere. The cease and the cyst. So the cease, you can cast it at instant speed to exile two target cards, well, up to two target cards. You could just pick one if you want. You gain life and draw a card. So that's another way to prevent against getting yourself, uh, getting all your cards exiled. Um, so that's kind of some little preventative tech. I don't think people have gotten onto that card and a way to beat you with this deck, but it's definitely there, out there. It is possible. So that's why we are going with the Scrap Gorger. There's also the uh, Intrepid Paleontologist, which also gives you mana. It's a 2-2 body, but you have to pay two to exile the card to you know prevent that from happening. So you know maybe if you're playing against black, you might have to leave that up. But, you know, this can just tap without having to use any mana. And usually you're using up all your mana because we're running really lean with the 21 lands. And, you know, we, you know, really need that mana. So the Scrap Gorger is a great way for that. I got two copies of Cause of Hunger in there as a bite spell. So we could take out, you know, some Sheldrids or some other cards that are a problem. You could also use that to bite the, you know, whatever big blocker they blocked your ooze with. And, you know, get that additional damage through or kill it because we have trample. So if you kill their blocker, all the trample damage goes through. And then uh, some other cards in the two, two drops slot are the Aftermath Analyst. A one mana, one green, one three, and it mills three cards. And then you could, you know, sacrifice it for four mana. And you get to return all the lands from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. So it's a good way to ramp into more, more lands that you've milled. Either, like, you've put it in a way with the Surveil or it milled, you know, just in general. Um, that part, probably not gonna use it as much as, you know, more for a nice chump blocker and, you know, milling the cards to get some more slime against humanity in the graveyard. And the mulch goes along with that. We're keeping two copies of that in there so we can put all the lands that were, you know, we mill four cards. Um, basically, it doesn't say mill, but you, you know, those are going in the graveyard and you get put lands in your hand. So it's just a good way to ramp into mana. So if you only have two lands in your hand, you're, you know, you're able to still cast the mulch and, you know, hopefully hit your third land drop if you don't have it. And then we got the tribute to the world tree, three green mana, which, you know, we're only playing green. Um, 
and you know when a power of less than or three or greater enters you draw a card and when it's you know less than that you put two plus one plus one counters on it so the maverick and the analyst and the scrap gorger will get pumped up and then any slimes that are bigger than that will um, draw you a card so it's just a good way to you know you cast a slime draw a card cast another slime continue on you know so it just gives you that um, hand and you know fixing and also you know some pump actions and then we have Sarath I guess the Viper's Fang two mana two green uh, three four creature and tap creatures you control have death touch and so if you don't know how trample works with death touch um, you just have to do one point of damage to the blocker you just have to kill the blocker and then all the rest of the damage can trample over so if they block it if you have a five five and they block it you just do one damage to the blocker and then the rest of the four is going to trample over through because you did that one damage with the death touch to kill it and it has the ability to untap your creature so you can use it as a blocker as well uh, going forward and then it just got one copy of nissa in there just kind of uh for the like end game final you know coup de gras on the opponent also can get rid of um enchantments and artifacts that are you know possibly a problem and we're going with 21 slimes 21 lands um i do have um four of the surveil lands you could put any surveil lands that you want in there um i just have four copies of the white one so i figured go with that um you know there's a from some of the other decks you know you could put in the sovereign in there just because i'm playing white would be an option if you wanted to you know just splash in some other cards and then another good card if you have like the red one with the mountain then you know the vigoring hot springs is a good card and we'll see that in a deck coming up once i make the gruel one um uh, one other card that's pretty sweet is since, you know, you have all these forests, is the armor. You'd be able to double up, you know, a slime, you know, to do that. But I think I'd much rather have the slime. Uh, the Collector's Vault is also another nice card. So when you start getting mana flooded, you're able to discard, um, you know, the land from your hand. But you do draw first. So you can, you know, draw first. Maybe you discard, you know, another slime before you cast a slime uh, type of thing. Kadama got of the West Tree got cut as well, which is another good card. So, you know, all the oozes are modified creatures because they have plus one, plus one counter. So when they do damage to an opponent, you would take lands out of your library and put them into the battlefield tapped. Uh, Wasteful Harvest, I cut that one. Uh, I do like it, but for three mana, it's kind of rough. You know, this allows you to get back some of the other cards that you're looking for. And since we don't have too many of the uh, permanents, uh, I just cut that one out and i think i also cut you know the um flashback the dryad's revival i also cut out of the deck just because i'd rather have a slime uh, i got some comment on that you know you just maybe it's just better to just have the slime so although this would allow you to get back you know some of your other spells i think just having more slime in there for your draw is a little bit better so uh, yeah, that's the deck. Let's get into some games and see how we do. So we need to be pay more attention to the Scrap Gorger. So see, like this hand, we do have the Mulch. Mm. We don't have the 1-2 play. See, this might be a Mulligan hand. I think I'm going to keep it, though, with that Mulch. If I didn't have the Mulch, for sure, this is a Mulliganer. <laughs> And we got the land anyway. But the mulch sets up for a really good turn three slime. Oh! The bane of our deck. Well, the mulch could still find us our fourth land. And being on the draw, you know, that's what happens when you're on the draw. You don't have a one drop. We're on a really good mulch, one land. Three slimes. That would be great. Or zero slime. Can't. Probably the worst possible mill that could happen. They could still have removal spell for one mana as well. But we need this. 
We could portal next turn though. We need to try to stabilize. We could at least block the veteran if they don't. Oh, I guess we can't block the veteran, so we'll block the most damage. Why would they not? It's a weird keep back. Oh, I see. Get the scry off. Oh. Easy block. But that does show the power that we're pretty much dead in this game. Talia turn two on the draw. Probably loss. Your win percentage on the draw is really is a lot lower, I think. So we got our one drop. I guess I'll keep it. Opponent goes first, we're on the draw again. The shuffler likes to put this deck on the draw and put us at a disadvantage every single game, pretty much. The green white deck that I had was on the draw for like 12 games in a row. Um, they were looking for land. That sucks. Yeah, one turn to draw land. This is a domain deck. No? Maybe? Maybe domain? We have a possibility against it. Legends, huh? Oh, perfect. We do have our bite spell, so Rafine comes out. Probably bite it. this we don't need more slime so we're set up pretty good now now it's just slime away Joda deck who that's rough they can get really big really fast so we're in trouble now we need our second bite spell. We need something. Equipment. Equipment would be great. Giadas. They're looking at that. It's fine. We need our jump blockers, but then they can. S That's not a legendary? Why are you playing that? You can get a bigger slimes. So they're just looking for legendary creatures and then they'll pop off really big, really fast and it'll be rough. We'll be on the defensive. There's Rafine. Two drop, the, probably the bodyguard. No bodyguard. That's a mistake. It's a big mistake. Can we get some good cards coming up? Nope. So they're at 13. We're in a good position. Got some chump blockers. Nice one in the slime. This is whenever one or more creatures deals damage, creates a treasure. So that's their card draw engine. Well, yeah. Okay. That makes Joda smaller, I think. Every fact that we get rid of their 
Big body. That is devastating to us. But do we have enough power on board? Uh, nope. We really need something good. Last one that we're going to be able to cast. So we're in big trouble. Oh, oops. Uh, forgot that. That's a gif on my part, or a whiff. I don't know what can help us here. Three, four, five, six. We don't even have enough lands for... A major miscalculation on my part, and we draw a land. So I think we're just done. Scoop of shame. Yep. So yeah, um, turn two, you know, gets rid of the slime, so. Oops. Oh, I get to go first? We got the Maverick? I think I'm gonna go with the Maverick. We got three surveils to find a land. And we got our death touch guy. We got our card engine, draw engine. Hopefully we can get out a win this time. Not a land, we're looking for land. Looking for land or a mana guy. Mana Dork or land. Not anymore though, we got the land. Um, do I take another land? Let's do it. We need that fourth anyway. Although we're looking at our black protection, if they have the deadly cover up, then we're just toast if we don't get That's a lot of good stuff. And there's really no way for us to deal with the bat besides the tree that we took out has you no know, stuff. So we take our card engine. It's fine. Death strike, death touch. Could have another bat, It'd be devastating. They could have removal. Some sort of token deck. I think they just have removal anyway, but... Death Dutch! Wow, that's crazy. They must have another way to make me discard, I guess. <laughs> Might have another way to kill us. I have to go with this, right? Do I? They could have another sacrifice type of effect. So unfortunately, we have to go with that. We'll just pump this up. Oh, I guess I could uh, hmm. keep our blockers up. This guy's got uh, menace, I think. Oh no, that's not even the thing. The forge. So the body dropper is going to continue to grow. I 
I don't know when we cast the world tree. Just keep putting out bodies. So we can untap our guy if we need to. Let's say if they target it with removal. They're probably not a targeted removal person though. That's a good one. Can't attack in with the body dropper. Gonna make a sack. Or is that only when he damages a player? Or a battle? I don't. We don't have an answer to that. I have to keep. This alive. Just against the fence, man. The death touch. Doesn't matter. So the problem is if they get to another removal spell, we're in trouble. We're at 16 life, they're dead next turn. Are we dead this turn though? All right, take two damage from the war leader's call. They got a bunch of guys that they can attack in with. We can still untap our Fang needs to live. I have no cards in hand. The Forge. We're doing pretty good against the Forge. They're just dead on their turn. Yep. As we survive, we're taking five. Oh, too much, too damage extra. I think we're dead. Oh, we'll be at one. I think we're at one. I did the good block. Yes, I could draw a card. They're dead back, dead on the swing back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, yeah. They have a nice deck. This is a pretty nice deck. Just a burn spell to the face. We got it.
wants to fight.
and we're back. Um, yeah, so I made some changes to the deck after playing a few games and, you know, going a little bit, um, like two or three or something like that. You know, I, I just felt like the deck needed a little bit of something else. Like we had too many um, slimes in there, so we um, pushed that down to 16. We went up to 22 lands. I was finding the 21 lands was, you know, a little bit harder. So we put it, put it up to 22, um, added in some cease and desist, mostly for the cease part to exile two cards from your grave, single graveyard, and then you gain two life and draw a card. Um, this is, you know, protection to go along with our scrap gorger protection from the deadly cover up, you know, and I added a third one of the scrap gorger because two wasn't enough wasn't drawing it enough or is getting killed and not being able to stay on the board. Added in one of the collector's vault. Uh, it's a draw a card, discard a card. So when you start getting land flooded, or maybe you just want to put some slimes in there and get treasures, you know, so that you can ramp up to Nissa or whatever. Uh, added in a, track, a couple of tracks of falls to destroy artifacts or enchantments or battles. I suppose you could even use, you know, if an opponent has a battle, kill it. Uh, added in a second world tree for the card draw. Just one wasn't enough, you know. So, and then added in the put the west tree back in to the deck for the um, drawing the lands. You know, if our modified creatures are attacking and doing damage, we can draw the lands to so help with the ramp. So not only do we have you know we have the world tree to help with the land, you know, and the west tree to help with the ramp. We got the collector's vault helping with the ramp. We got this. Rap Gorger helping to ramp. Got a lot of ramp for the mana. Um, I guess even the assist, cease and the assist, you know, gives, draws you that card. And then I added in uh, another card that's uh, probably a really good one. Um, you know, the Cemetery Prowler, when it attacks, you exile a card from a graveyard. Spells you cost, cast cost one less for each card type they share with a card exiled. With Cemetery Prowler. I don't know if this stacks. Uh, so like if you can get it down to one. But you can definitely cut it down to two. Instead of being three. So it, you know. You put this out. When it enters the battlefield. You exile the slime against humanity. Which is good. You know we want to keep our graveyard clear of those cards. So they can't be targeted. And removed from your entire deck. And then you know it discounts them. So now if this is out there. It only costs two. I, didn't, I wasn't able to try it to see if I could eat a second one. And see if this will only cost one but it was definitely good enough um, for that so yeah those are the changes uh, that we made to the deck and yeah it's performing a little bit better I think than the initial deck that I showed in the intro um, you know 16 still good enough still you know almost half your cards 20 sorceries so this has been told, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.